Hello everyone, my name is Martin Pankras and I'm a product manager for SAP integration at Microsoft. Today we will be looking at automated responses for SAP incidents um, in, ingested into Microsoft Sentinel. We'll be blocking SAP users based on those information and actually make that uh, choice uh, from Microsoft Teams. Let's head right into it. We'll be using transaction SE80, which is the ABBA workbench, and you can imagine um, this being a problem on a productive system, for instance. Except the uh, hotfix user, no other user should be able to access that transaction. So we start our journey at the, at the bottom left here with the SAP system. And the standard collector that we provide that actually ingests the incidents over time from SAP into Microsoft Sentinel. From there, it will raise an incident and trigger a playbook that we have predefined for you for the use case of blocking SAP users. From there, the, um, a dedicated uh, channel on Microsoft Teams is being uh, targeted with an adaptive card, which then shows up for the uh, security people uh, use, using this for um, tracking incidents on SAP and give them the option to act on it. From there, we will be sending the lock request back to SAP. In this case, we chose Azure API Management, but there are other options that you can learn about more when you use the link at the bottom right. And to close the loop from here, we'll be informing the user who got locked, as well as close the incident either as false positive or as a true positive with a comment Why? And now we'll be actually triggering this process from here with the user lock me, accessing the transaction SE80. This triggers the process on, on Sentinel once the new logs get ingested. After a short wait time, it shows now up on the incident list in Microsoft Sentinel. As you can see here, the user lock me and transaction SE18. When we look at the details of this incident, we will also see which SAP system was targeted, the SAP SID, in my case PM1, the account that was associated with this SAP backend user. So the backend users lock me, but the Microsoft account here is this one. And some details of how the, what the incident um, like comprises. And the configuration to connect the, the incident with the uh, actual playbook that we saw before. So only the incidents with those properties will actually trigger, trigger this workflow. And we move over here, you will see that this is already running. So next, let's jump over to Teams. Over here, we see the adaptive card presented with the option to jump to the uh, respective incident from here with the same information that we saw on in the incident details before on Sentinel and the two options that I hinted on before. So we don't want to flag as false positive, we actually want to block the user. So let's move over here, choose ERP and provide a, a comment. In our case, no user should have access to SE80 in production and hit submit. This then updates the adaptive card here. And provides a message to the, the person who did it uh, to make sure that uh, you get a visual um, like response that you actually locked the user. So now let's verify if the user is actually locked. Over here, I'm logged in with the user lock me in my active session on the web QE. And when I refresh now or open any of the other transactions, we will see that we can no longer work on the system. So let's hit refresh. So we're already logged out. Let's see if we can log back in. There we go. The user is locked. That uh, shows you the complete end-to-end -end process of um, interacting with SAP systems based on the security alerts raised in, in uh, Sentinel. And if you want to learn more, uh, use the link at the bottom right uh, to 
uh, get a jump target to our block series, which shows you all the instant outs of this configuration, as well as the other available pre-configured playbooks for other scenarios for you, as well as the other implementation flavors of this. Thank you for watching.